following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Well, I wanted to uh, mention that I have been watching the news about what's been happening in uh, North Carolina uh, over the last couple of days, and it's a very sad situation to see the rioting. It reminds me of the story. My, my dad had four brothers. Uh, they were all in uh, World War II. Uh, the youngest was uh, my Uncle Paul. He attended VMI. And uh, after he was there two years, the war started, and so he enlisted to go into the Army. And as luck would have it, uh, he went into the 7th Army, and he worked for none other than General George Smith Patton. And uh, he was in the campaigns uh, in North Africa and also through Italy and also through Europe, all the way up until the time when Patton uh, died uh, in December of 1944 as the war was ending but he told me many stories he had such incredible memorabilia that you wouldn't believe it my sister kept a few pictures uh, but most of it uh, we uh, we we had some collectors that wanted to buy it but my uncle Paul long before he passed away he said don't ever sell any of this he said give it away you know to a museum or something and so my sister gave it to the Simon Wiesenthal Museum uh, from the Holocaust, because Paul had been to Auschwitz, and uh, he had also been to uh, Dachau, and so he told us stories that were, we were just kids, you know, we were like 16, 17 years old knowing this, and it was really sad, but the, one of the most amazing stories he told me is when they were going through Italy after they came from Africa, they had just left Sicily and it got into uh, southern Italy, and they were in a town, uh, and they were being harassed by the people of uh, the Italians there because they were still uh, friends of Benito Mussolini and uh, he uh, they were they were causing all kinds of traffic problems and rioting and you know throwing things at the soldiers and Patton told his um, his one of his uh, one of his marksmen he said go up on top of that bell tower and he said with your BAR which is a, a Browning automatic rifle it shoots 50 caliber bullets and he said, I don't want you to shoot anybody. He said, all I want you to do is to take out that fountain. He said, just level it. And he went up there and he fired that BAR. And there wasn't a person in that whole town that stayed there. They all took off and there were no more writings all through Italy. So you have to show force. And I don't know if the um, National Guard is going to do it, but you can't let people, you know, destroy property. And I can understand the right to, to do that, but uh, let's get off of the subject. And let's get something fun. We're going to take a look here at the German DAX. And since we're talking about World War II, we might as well start with the German DAX. As you can see, we are dancing with the mother of truth right now. We are right at a 1.618, just a tad below that, and right at an exact 70. Uh, 78.6 retracement. Uh, we're going to be looking at the, of course, the uh, New York Stock Exchange Index when it opens, because it's going to open most probably just a little above the 61% retracement today. Folks, this is just nothing more. Than, and this is my opinion, of course, but this is nothing more than, uh, you know, what you're looking at here uh, in this uh, uh, market is just another bounce back. And it's being led, of course, you know, by the um, the big daddy rabbit, of course, which is the which is the Nasdaq. And if, if we take a look at this Nasdaq, uh, boy, there it's really screaming sell. And uh, I'll put this up to let you take a look at it. But when you when you look at this Nasdaq uh, since uh, February, when we made that beautiful bottom down there, uh, we have a perfect ABCD pattern uh, that measures exactly to uh, 4880. So far, we've been to 4875. And um, we have also a 1.618, excuse me, a 1.618 expansion uh, on the daily charts that measures to the same price, 4880. So I would assume we're going to have a little bit of um, 
support there would be my guess. Now, we have another market that is uh, in the process of doing something really big here, folks. we got to take a look at this from several different angles. Uh, the first one we're going to look at here is the shorter term uh, chart for the gold market. We're going to look at gold very, very um, closely here this morning because it's uh, got a lot of stuff going on. This comes from one of our good friends uh, here in the, in the Tiger Den, sent it out to me. There are two really great charts uh, that I really like, and it shows the, uh, the bull flag that's there. And we want to look at this bull flag because it's got a chance you know, to really uh, come out of here with a lot of power. If it does, you have to you have to get on board, folks, because this has a chance, you know, to really be a huge, uh, really a huge move. And because uh, if you look at this uh, on a longer term chart, and we've done this before, we're going to do it again today too. But if you look at this uh, chart here, uh, since we made that three drive to a bottom back in December, you'll see that we had that 38% retracement that came down there at the 1202 level. Uh, and since that time, you know, we've been we went up to uh, uh, 1394, excuse me, 1388, and then we backed off to the 38% retracement there at the uh, next level. And now that that means that if we get above this level, this is why it's going to look so so very very interesting. And what I what I'd like to show you now is to blow this up. Uh oh, not the right one. Let me show you this one, and then I'll get the other one, and we'll get this moving here. This is the chart that I did yesterday afternoon. I was expecting this to get a little bit higher, at least up to the 786. We've almost got there. But the one I wanted you to see, and the one I wanted you to see, and the one I wanted you to see is this one right here. Okay, this is the one that draws in the, the valid trend line. And trend lines are good because they're part of you know, technical analysis, especially when they hit numbers perfectly. You can see here, we can get to 1344, 1345 today and still be in a really big downtrend. We could still do that. But anything above 1351, you're breaking some really serious downtrend moves. And if we get above 1360, uh, wow, I know it's a $60 off the bottom, but boy, this thing could really start to move. The reason why I can say that is if you look at this four-hour goal chart going back to June, we had the high made in uh, on July the 5th. And as you can see, you know, we've been in a three-month sideways correction, and all we've been able to do is to make a 38% retracement of the low in June. I mean, that's not even close to the one in December. But uh, the low in June was 38%, and we also made a 50% retracement from the low uh, in late June when we had the Brexit. So this is uh, this has got some really legs behind it if we get it above 1360. Um, but you know we got to get above 1344 first because that's the you know the major move that you're looking at here uh, in the gold market. Now if we take a look at silver. If you'll be able to take a look at this here, you'll see that silver has been moving um, a little bit higher. It's gone above the 78% retracement already today, and we've already cleared the $20 per ounce level. Um, that equivalent number has already been uh, broken in silver, but we haven't done it yet in gold. Thir that would be the, the above the 786 in gold would take you above 1346, and so we haven't done that. We're still five or six dollars away. 877 927 6648. FNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the Taz Profile Scanner Plus. And right now you can get a two week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The Taz Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile based scanner in the industry powered by the acclaimed 
Nest has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the Taz Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting tfnn.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN. FNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Okay, folks, we're going to take a look at the money markets now with the foreign exchange. We're going to start with the euro. Um, this is a really beautiful technical chart, as you can see. You know, we're still in a downtrend. You'll notice that we've had these lower tops at the 135 pattern. That was the pattern that was made famous by uh, Roy Longstreet and his son, Bill. There's two of them there, and the, the, the most recent one is where we are right now at this uh, 1240 level, 11240 level uh, in the euro. But what you want to look at is you'll notice that yesterday we made a lower pip a lower low by just one pip and that that is you know that is really nothing in the, in the foreign exchange market as you're talking a market that trades a uh, trillion dollars the euro versus the dollar you know so this is a, a a monster move when that happens folks you know you're you're really you're looking at something that is telling you that there is just nothing there there was no selling and since you were exactly at a 61 percent retracement it was before the fed came out you know, to do their work, but it's really important. And what I want to do is to try to show you how I use the dollar index the same way. If you'll notice in the dollar index yesterday, here again, we were taking out the high that we made two weeks ago at that 96.20 level. We took it out exactly by one pip, just like we did in the euro. And the euro was 53% of the value of the U.S. dollar. So this should be the mirror image of it, and that's what it is. That was telling you that that time the euro was getting ready to rally against the U.S. dollar. And when that happened, that's what made the gold and silver start to move higher. It's my opinion, but that's what we think is uh, going on. Now, uh, the second part of this is um, the uh, – yeah, by the way, you know, when the uh, chairman talks, I, I, I hope you realize that most of these these uh, questions are preempted. I mean, well, the first question that was asked to her yesterday by Steve Leeson, she took four minutes to answer a yes or no question. I mean, that's just uh, the shades of, uh, 
you know, Alan Greenspan type stuff. So <laughs> you you got to you got to take it with a grain of salt, I guess, because who knows? Anyway, what interest rates have done uh, since that time, as you can see here, uh, we've had a little bit of a bias to the upside here in the Treasury bonds, and what we've done so far is we have gone up and made a 1.618 expansion of the ABCD leg, and the uh, the CD leg is exactly you know, 1.27 of that move. So if we start getting above, you know, 167.28 to 168, this is telling me this market wants to go uh, a great deal higher. But at this particular level, we should be coming into at least a little bit of resistance. Not a lot, but there should be some. And that that's basically what we're what we'll be looking at. We've got about nine minutes to go in the opening. We're going to have the Dow opening really strong this morning. Uh, the NASDAQ, of course, very, very strong. And all of these will be, uh, you know, moving to the upside. We're going to see how high they're going to get. But uh, it'll be quite interesting, you know, to watch it as we uh, start the, the morning. Remember, it is a market of stocks, not a stock market. So there are going to be some stocks that will be going down, just like John Logan was pointing out uh, on his show. And so you want to, you know, sort of watch that uh, and watch that to see where we are. But I don't believe this announcement that they made long term is going to have very much of an effect on anything, because if we take a look, of course, uh, at the uh, New York Stock Exchange Index, which is the one that we like to look at the most, and I know I have it, and here it is. Let's put this in here. You'll see that we are going to open most probably – uh, just a little bit higher. See, three percent. No, it'll be about one percent. Yeah, it should. Be, eh. It's going to open a little higher than the 61 percent retracement from the opening bell. But we'll see how much. Uh, see how much it gives us. Uh, you know, on the upside here, because we could easily get to the 10,800, which is the 78 percent level uh, in the uh, in the New York Stock Exchange Index. So it has to gap above. The 61% retracement in that first hour, also known as amateur hour. So watch that, uh, you know, basically uh, look at it. Uh, yes, Terry, uh, uh, Shane Smolian was on uh, our show last Thursday. And as you recall, uh, he said we were most probably looking at an up week because of the positive aspects that were there. And uh, they certainly have been positive. And uh, we've had an up week. And we've guess what? We've only got one more day to go. To finish up the week, so then we'll see uh, what is going to uh, to look at. Now we have a call, uh, a question about the uh, the gold as it relates to um, uh, NUGT, which is a gold stock, I believe. The problem with these uh, stocks that you're looking at when you're when you're watching gold is they don't trade 24 hours a day like we get in the cash market. And the cash market is thousands and thousands of times bigger than the stock, the stocks of the gold stocks. So those are things that we're also, you know, keeping an eye on, you know, for uh, for that leave. But for me, gold has to clear 1360. I'm not going to buy it on the breakout. But what I will do is I'll start to watch it. And as it starts to make its first correction, I won't buy that first correction. But the second correction that it makes is the one I'll buy. In other words, if it drops down, say, $10, $12 or $17, you know, from any any significant point, whether it's uh, $13.50, $13.60, $13.70, $13 just look for the first correction, whatever it's going to be. It'll be $10, $12, 10 to $17 usually. Uh, $17, of course, is one half the harmonic number in gold. And then look for the next $17 rally because at that point, you know, you're really going to have a spot where you're able to quantify your risk and you know exactly where you are. Plus, you have some uh, a fingerprint of what gold is doing at that time, and that's the easier entry point. The best place to enter was two weeks ago at that 1302 level, which uh, we were able to do that. Unfortunately, I got out of it at the, uh, well, we got out of it okay. We got out of it uh, 1350, but now we're getting back above that. And so if we get back above that, you have to start asking yourself, do I get back into this position because I don't want to lose the position if it's going to go a lot higher? I am not sure it's going to go a lot higher. I believe it has to clear 1360 uh, in the gold market. And then I think you've got a chance, you know, for gold to uh, to really uh, get a pretty good move. Right now, the high, all the high we've had today is around 1342. We're still within a dollar uh, of that figure. So that's going to be uh, an interesting one, you know, to look at. And also, 
Um, the other thing is silver is already way above the 78% retracement, so it's already telegraphing that it wants to go higher. So this is going to be a very interesting uh, uh, situation here as we as we come into the uh, opening this morning. Keep an eye on this price on the the um, the Treasury bonds, folks, at that uh, 167.28. That's 10, t 10 handles from uh, 10 ticks from where we are right now. That should be very, very strong resistance because it'll be taking out the highs of the last few days, and then you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to get to that level that you'll see it a lot easier, and then you'll be uh, you know you know how to quantify your risk. So we'll see if that's going to uh, if that's going to be the case. So those are the ones that we're watching this morning. Uh, crude oil, uh, we flat out missed this one, folks. Uh, uh, it should have gone another 40 pips lower in the crude oil and left me at the gate. Uh, I didn't buy it on any strength, but uh, I still think we're going to go higher. But here again, we are running into some pretty strong resistance, uh, $3.30 higher than we were just a few days ago. And this is nothing more than a 1.618 expansion of that last move. That comes in at 46 45 so far the day in crude is 46 43 based on the thanksgiving or november crude 877-927-6648 Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under trading newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, we are opening here, and we're opening at around 2166 in the E mini SP, and we're opening at uh, 4871 uh, in the NASDAQ, and so we'll see what happens. We've got gold uh, getting ready to make new highs here. Folks, if we break out of this uh, 1345 level, and we came out of here really strong, you know, we went down to 1311, uh, so we've rallied. Um, uh, we're almost up. To, if we hit 1345, that'll be the harmonic number. It'll also be the 786. And if we go blasting through that with this much strength, uh, I'm almost tempted to buy it with $11 stop. But like I said, that's not my game plan. I want to wait and see what happens with it uh, after we get it moving uh, a little bit. So that's the key to uh, taking a look at these things, uh, you know, at least early, uh, early in the morning. Uh, the New York Stock Exchange Index is not opened as of yet, but I know that it's going to open above the 61% um, retracement. So we'll see how that, uh, you know, holds up as we as we go through uh, looking at some of these things. Here we go. Now we got the now all the things are beeping. So just give me a second here, and we'll see what we're looking at. Okay. All right. Now we just hit the 1.618 level in the. In the German DAX, that's what that beep is for. You got to give me a second here because they're telling me that it's time to play, and I have to fix something. I got to put a stop in, but we are right there right now. So this is going to be interesting, and we'll see what happens. This is a this is really a wild market, but boy, folks, when it works, just like everything else, <laughs> it works very very well. So this level here at 10,685 here. Uh, in the DAX, uh, you know, the DAX is a very, very uh, large uh, contract. The uh, margin on it is 22,000 euros. So you have to risk about $1,000. So your stop on this would have to be at 10,715, which is uh, beyond the scope of most of us. So I would just, you know, have you folks just stand aside and look at it. But keep an eye on, you know, some of these others because they're uh, this this Nasdaq up here at this. Uh, uh, we're within a point now of the of the Nasdaq number of uh, 4880, uh, and we're at 4878 right now. So that's close enough for government work. We just made a 78% retracement in the E mini S and P here at the uh, 2170 level. So we're hitting some serious numbers up in here. Whether they hold or not, you know, remains to be seen. As as we we've said many times, you know, the first half hour to the first hour of the day is amateur hour. So it's kind of best, you know, to wait till that period's out of the way. You might sell it at a lower price if you want to be short, but at least you know what your resistance level is going to be if you get to that uh, if you get to that level. So. Uh, keep in mind that the first hour is known as amateur hour because the reason why is the people that put their orders in from these mutual funds and other places, uh, hedge funds and stuff, they don't have any skin in the game. So there's a lot difference. Their, their mental framework is a whole lot different than what ours is because we uh, work for ourselves and we have to be responsible for everything that we're doing. We're not trading other people's money. So that makes a, a huge difference. Uh, in the program as you're as you're walking through looking at some of these things so that's my two cents worth from the psychology part of this so we've, we've opened up here we're going to be pretty strong I don't know if we're going to be strong the whole day or not but we'll have to uh, let the trading gods decide but we certainly hit a lot of numbers here uh, this morning now there's a possibility that we could go up and take out that old high at 2194 in the uh, e, in the e mini s and p uh, remember we've already done it in the nasdaq but you know the nasdaq you're talking about 25 stocks and these are the big ones and so these are the ones that you have to you know make your uh, make your decisions on i would think let me check here to see how we're doing with the um, the stock of apple because that's been a leader all along uh, that's not a, that's up about uh, up, looks like it's up about a point so it's not doing too much as of yet might be up fifteen dollars by the end of the day but right now we haven't even taken out yesterday's high yet which is just a little away from, from where we are right now but it's still early in the morning and some of the other things have also uh, held off just a bit so we'll see if this is going to be you know a big thing or not we don't know this but we're just assuming that it is the reason why you want to wait for that first half hour is to get the get the orders out of the way 
and uh, then you know pretty much where you stand because after that big volume first hour, the things settle down and your risk is a lot less than it is in that first hour of trading. So uh, just keep in mind that uh, that's what you're you know, that's what you're looking at. So it's very important, I think, to keep an eye on that. And uh, that's neither here nor there, but we'll see what happens with it. Okay. Now, all right, we've actually now we have exceeded the uh, number. Well, we hit it almost exactly. 1881 has been our high so far in the NASDAQ. Whether that's going to mean anything or not, I don't know. But it's spot on uh, where it should be. But that don't mean it can't go a lot higher, which it could. We're still looking at bonds up here uh, at around a, another uh, six or eight ticks. You want to watch that. There's a lot of things happening here in this first hour. So pay, uh, pay close attention here because this could be the turning point for the day in this first hour. And you don't want to get too much out of uh, out of the way here uh, of watching these things. Now we've had a request uh, to take a look at uh, copper, the uh, the red metal, and as you can see here, um, our good friend. Oopsie Daisy, just a second. What did I do wrong there? Okay, okay. Here we go. Here's copper, and as you can see here, uh, we've had uh, several higher bottoms here. Both of them were exact, 78. 0.6% retracements, uh, and as you can see here, uh, so far today up at this uh, 219 to 220 level, that's the 61% retracement of the high that we made back in July. Uh, any move above that would tell you that you could be moving up into the 240 level, which would be nothing more than a very large, you know, ABCD pattern that started way back in January. But you know, you got a long way to go before you get to that point, and we've been up like oh seven out of the last 10 days in copper. So it's been relatively strong. So that's another one that uh, if you trade commodities, you know, to keep an eye on it. So that's it. As well. so look, someone asked a question here. <laughs> he says, I'm up 7% in silver. Uh, I can sell without a GFV, and I don't know what GFV means. I would not get out now. No, I. Uh, if you want to be really cautious, uh, put your stop under yesterday's low, or uh, if it gets unchanged on the day, you could do that. But I certainly wouldn't get out of it now because it could be breaking out, Albert. And you know, you don't want to uh, you don't want to stand in front of that uh, um, you know move. You want to stay on board if you can, so you've got a good lead in it. So the best thing to do is to use a trailing stop. So if it makes new lows on the day, uh, you know that's what you'd be looking for, and then you could turn it around. And then you'd have something, uh, you know, be going on, you know, in your favor. Because remember, you know, we were in this, we were in the gold and silver in that first run, and it went a lot farther than we ever thought. We got out of it a little bit early, but it still was a tremendous move. And uh, then the market went, you know, a lot lower. But you're never going to get the exact high tick. Very seldom will you get the, you know, you you'll get the low tick more than you get the high tick. But uh, that's just the nature of the of the of the game, folks. You know, don't put your stops at old highs and lows. We've already seen that today uh, in the euro and also uh, in the dollar index. So all of those, you know, are telling you that that's what you're looking at. So Looking to discover a new financial resource and diversify your financial portfolio? Consider the new Market Safe Focus Commodity CD from Everbank. This five year US dollar denominated CD gives you exposure to six equally weighted commodities, including gold, silver, copper, nickel, soybeans, and sugar, in one powerful CD. With annual pricing caps of 50% per component, you could earn up to a 50% upside payment at maturity if the commodities increase in value across annual pricing dates. And should the opposite occur, your principal is one. 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. Don't miss out. Take advantage of this financial resource designed to grow with the times. The October 13th funding deadline will be here before you know it. So hurry over to everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. Once again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a member FDIC. 
It's 2016, and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern Time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin, as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Catch the Money Masters as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing. Next on TFNN. Okay, I've had two requests to go over the gold chart that I posted, this four-hour gold chart going back to June. Uh, as you can see, the ABCD on the upside took it up there to 1379. Uh, at that time, of course, we were looking at um, August gold. Now we've rolled over to the Christmas gold, and that price is 1387. But this is what we're trading now is the December gold. Look at the trend line, folks, from uh, August. You'll notice that it hit a 78% uh, line, and then it's also scheduled to hit that same 78% line either today or tomorrow. That comes in around 1344. That's why I'm saying if we break out above 1360, uh, this market could go a very, very long way. Uh, if you want, if you wanted to do uh, do something uh, on the order of uh, puts and calls, uh, if you wanted to, you know, buy a call, if it breaks above 1360, you're gonna have to pay a premium. But I would use a strike price uh, of at least 1400. That way, you get your cost down on it. And uh, the the price objective on this uh, ABCD move uh, is at least 1475. Uh, and that means that we could probably, uh, you know, that could have almost $100 in it if it does this. But my strategy is I would like to say it again because evidently some people were confused. I, I like to see what happens intraday on a 30-minute chart. So after it hits any high, I watch to see what the next retracement level is, whether it's usually it's either between 11 and $17. So when I get that first retracement, that's what I'm looking for. So I know that if I buy it down 11 or down 17 from any particular high, I know that my maximum risk on that is going to be between 8 and $10. And so I'm able to protect myself uh, easier. With break buying breakouts is more difficult because, you know, you've seen several times before where you get these false breakouts. If you look at the one that we had back on September 6th in gold, it looks like it was breaking out of a trend line and uh, it went another 7 or $8 higher and, and then dropped $50 an ounce. And so unless you want to use a $50 an ounce stop, you can't really do that. So that's my strategy. I don't know how yours fits in with that, but that's what I'm looking at. And I want to see, uh, you know, based on, uh, you know, what's happening with some of these things, of uh, whether it's going to uh, hold up to any. Uh, well, we just hit our level in the bonds now, uh, 167.29. Uh, that's spot on where we thought it was going to be. And so we'll see. And we're really, really close here uh, in the crude oil up here at this 13. Um, 
46 level we're into 14 or 46 uh, 43 so these numbers have held so far but that doesn't mean they're going to hold you know for forever i mean they could easily you know move down uh quite a bit without any trouble at all so anyway that's what i'm doing i'm just watching these patterns to see how they unfold the, the fact that uh oh i want to mention one thing i got a really interesting uh, email last night from uh, one of uh one of my students uh, that lives in Europe, and he was telling me that he was having a really difficult time coping with what the Federal Reserve was doing because he really felt that it was wrong and it was affecting his thinking in the markets. And And I, what I tried to do is to try to get him to think in the terms of, you know, don't listen to what they have to say. Just look at what the um, price is of the thing. So the price is what determines where things are. If there's more buyers, price wants to go up. If there's more sellers, price wants to go down. So that's uh, basically all. And to try not to let it worry you. That's like watching these, uh, these uh, this political event and stuff and, and the riots that are going on. Um, Sarah and I watched the stuff that was going on in North Carolina because a year ago or Two years ago in China, we had China in Hong Kong, we had the same thing. We had people that were really uh, causing a great deal of problems, and of course the Chinese government, you know, <laughs> they run Hong Kong basically, and they not, you know, that's where the army comes from. So they have to show a show of force, and that's what they're going to have to do uh, at that at that particular uh, place in uh, in Charlotte, which is a beautiful uh, beautiful part of the of the country. I love North Carolina. Of course, my mentor, John Hill, is there, and I've been to North Carolina uh, many, many times, and I, I certainly like it uh, a whole lot. Okay, now, another, another question someone asked is about the crude oil. Um, folks, we had a $3 move, a little more than $3 and a half off the bottom. Uh, watch for a dollar, uh, a dollar reaction. That would be a 382 correction because we've got a chance here at $55 oil if this thing gets uh, anything higher than uh, you know forty-seven dollars uh, a barrel, it would be breaking out to the upside also. So these might be related to the dollar, or they might not be. You know, the sixty-four dollar question is whether that's going to be the case or not. So we'll just keep that in mind. But uh, we're right at the uh, right at the number now in the crude oil. So there we are. We'll just see how it holds up. Now we've made the uh, seventy-eight percent retracement. In the New York Stock Exchange Index this morning, we gapped up to that 10,792. Uh, We're trading at 10,800 right now, which is the 61%, uh, uh, excuse me, 78% retracement. And whether that's going to hold it or not, you know, we'll have to wait and see. But we'll see. Um, if it will do that, and that's uh, you know basically you know what we're what we're watching here. The uh, DAX has not moved very much. It's only moved about seven points uh, so far early this morning. That's the German version of the S and P 500. It's the German DAX, but that's neither here nor there. But we'll watch that one as we go through. Uh, today here we've got a break coming up. I don't have any um, guests for the rest of this week since we only have one day. But next week I'm going to have a, a young lady who's a daughter of one of my students from uh, 25 years ago. She's now graduated out of college, and her specialty is W.D. Gann, and she wants to share some of her work on W.D. Gann with us. And I'll try to get her on uh, in the middle of the week uh, this coming week to get us a pretty good idea of uh, what we have uh, in store for us, you know, from uh, with, with W.D. Gann. All righty. Now, the next question. Oh, we got a break coming up here, but we had one other question from someone here. Oh, someone asked this. Today is the first day of fall, of course. Um, you know, uh, summer is over, and so we are in the, uh, we're in the autumn equinox. Uh, remember, we had Mercury went back to direct motion yesterday. So a lot of things are happening astrologically. So don't be surprised if you see a lot of, you know, uh, ups and downs. That's the main thing. So we'll see what's going to uh, what's going to go in that direction, and we'll see what's happening. But anyway, that's what we're looking at early this morning. Um, we had one other question, and that was about the uh, the dollar uh, versus the Japanese yen. I wanted to bring up here to let you see it because it also has been in a really strong downtrend. Um, if we get anywhere below par and we're trading, you know, at around 10, uh, 100.36, anytime we get below par here, you're going to be looking at a market that's most probably heading down to about 95. You know, that's the 
that's the main thing that I would be seeing if that if that were the case. Uh, so keep keep that uh, you know very um, close to your vest because you know right now in the uh, Japanese yen we are trading at exactly. Uh, 1071. So we've bounced a little bit off of that bottom at 10. The bottom was at par 06. So we rallied about 70 pips. Uh, it, you, the $64 question, is that a major bottom? That was a Gartley pattern there at par at 100. But uh, that doesn't, you know, we've only moved 70 pips, but at least it's moved 70 pips in that direction, which is the right way to go. 877-927-6648. I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, now we've gapped up in the New York Stock Exchange Index. We've hit the, um, we're trading just a tad above the 78% retracement. Uh, I wanted to finish up the show here today by taking a look here at crude oil. Um, you know, see, it. Uh, we just missed our buy in that. Uh, we had a perfect ABCD down in time uh, that we focused on yesterday, but unfortunately, I was trying to buy it lower. I didn't chase it, and now we've rallied um $3,500 off the bottom. You'll notice here this downtrend line we have at the 78% retracement. That's also a, a valid trend line because both of those touches 
are exactly at 78% level. So should we get above, you know, the 4750 um, level, that would be a valid breakout. And uh, it would give a minimum uh, price objective of at least 56, which would be that 1.27 expansion of this last move. So uh, a lot of these markets are getting ready to uh, move, uh, you know, uh, quite a bit in my favor, in, in, uh, at least I think they are. And we'll see if uh, we're going to do the same thing in gold. We're making new highs now in gold, uh, right near the 78% retracement at 13.44. So that's going to be a really, uh, really interesting one. The, the gold and silver got a real chance, folks, because of what they did yesterday. Uh, you know, we'll just see if that's going to hold it up or not. But that's, uh, you know, what we're that was what we're watching at least, you know, early uh, in the morning. Now the bonds have gone uh, three pips above uh, the 1.618 expansion. Uh, the crude oil has not violated as of yet. It needs to get about 46.50, and then that short-term number in crude would probably uh, kick in. But uh, 167.29 was the number in the bonds. We're right, right now we're 167.31, up one and a quarter handles, which is uh, quite a bit, saying that interest rates, you know, want to go, uh, you know, lower as opposed to higher. And that I'm not so sure it's going to do. Now, copper is still uh, right at that 61% retracement at uh, 219 a pound. Um, that was exactly 61 off that last high. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.